What is going on guys? It is your boy Bio2K and today man, I'm going to be bringing you guys a video talking about the best methods for you guys to make MT here in season 4 of NBA 2K22. My team, again, I do make this video every single season for you guys and I do try to make it once every other week to kind of give you guys the best updated strats for you guys to go ahead and make some MT. This season, I actually really like how easy it is, I feel like, to make MT, especially if you guys are a no money spent player. You guys know I am on my no money spent account and you guys can see I have 130k and I also do have this team right here I got with guys like Terry Kawhi um well, that's basically it. Oh, well, and Draymond, I guess. And then we do have some other moves we've been making. Uh, like, I literally just bought a bunch of diamond contracts for these guys as well. So you guys can actually make some pretty good MT this season. And I'm going to be walking you guys through really the best method. So if you guys do enjoy this video, do me a favor and kill that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to consider hitting that subscribe button. We actually gained like 50 or 60 subs alone yesterday. So I really do appreciate you guys on that one. Um, and yeah, let's get into this video though and talk about how to make some MT. So getting into the best methods here of how to make empty. The first thing I'm going to be talking about is the exchange here. Now I did actually just do it, which is kind of why I'm kind of fumbling the video right now, but in the reoccurring, um, exchange section here there is going to be the diamond shoe boost thing and you can earn shoe boost very easily from opening up free promo packs that you guys can get you know via the skills challenges the pickup challenge that you can do every single day to get the standard heat check pack um and then even like spotlight challenge like you get a bunch of packs and just random stuff domination like all that sort of stuff and uh with that you guys obviously get random shoe boost that you guys can exchange for uh some good things like for instance right i've been doing them and i actually got acceleration out of both of them i don't really put them up for the buy nows and realistically you should but if if you do put them up for buy nows i mean these are still going to probably sell for like seven or eight k so you could still make good amounts of mt uh by just doing these exchanges now you're not guaranteed to get something good i mean you're very likely to get some pretty bad ones as well um like pass iq uh offensive consistency you know draw foul like some of these just really are bad uh, and they really don't even go for that much, like if anything. Um, so sometimes you get something bad, but you can still actually get some pretty good value out of these as well. And again, it's super easy to do. And I highly recommend that you guys throw your bronze and your silver shoe boost into these every single hour to get yourself a shoe boost. I mean, literally it reoccurs every hour and really does work out, which is good. So outside of that, a new method of making MT in this season. Uh, the number one thing I'm going to be talking about is heat checks. Heat checks are really good for making MT, especially when they first come out. And that is why I'm making this video now instead of like a few you know weeks or a few days even into the season. I want to bring this video to you guys as quick as possible. Heat checks, again, when they first drop, do actually have really good amounts of value because people are opening up the packs and everything like that. And they're actually a little bit cheaper this year than they were last year, which is surprising. But even a guy like Tobias Harris, right? So just looking at this, this one's for $39.50. I mean, honestly, if you time it right, you could probably still sell that one for maybe around 6 k um, So if you're being smart with when you're buying these cards and everything like that, you will be able to actually make some good MT on these, whether you guys are just looking to flip them, maybe you're just looking to... Um, you know, lock them in and maybe, you know, get your tokens out of the deal or whatever the case is. These all do hold at least somewhat of decent value. So if you guys are able to snipe some of these, I know people were sitting on these filters and getting them for, you know, 2000 MT and flipping them for 4000. You could definitely do some stuff like that. There's hollows, as you just saw in these collections as well. And they're really good for flipping and making MT. I mean, and again, the, the snipe filters for these really aren't that competitive in my opinion. Like, I mean, I feel like if you were to just sit here and again, do that 2000 and under snipe filter, you guys will be able to kind of snag a few, maybe a couple every hour or something like that and make yourselves some pretty fast and easy MT by just going through these heat checks, looking what you can snipe or looking what to snipe for and everything like that. So definitely make sure you guys are paying attention to these heat checks. So another really good thing that I want to talk about, as I did just talk about a little bit in the beginning of this video, is diamond contracts. Diamond contracts are really cheap right now. Like I said, I was able to snag three of them for 12k each. Now, if you remember back in like the last couple of years, especially diamond contracts went for absurd amounts. Like even this year in the beginning, they actually went for like 25k, and uh, you know even more expensive than that. They were sitting at around 30k for a while. So I mean, again, you guys could snag them for really cheap. These are going to be really good to invest in right now. A locker code did just come out now that is going to be another thing i'm going to talk about in just a second here but diamond contracts are something that you guys do want to look to invest in because i feel like everybody can always use diamond contracts they may not skyrocket up back in price to that 25 or 30k range but they could definitely jump back up to around maybe like 16 or 17k so if you do invest in a few of them you could definitely make like maybe an additional 20 25k on these 
It may not be anything too, too crazy, but you never know. Maybe they can even jump up even higher and you can actually make yourself some even more MT. Now, another thing I want to talk about is you guys can see on this community hub here that there is a locker code that um, obviously is for the MLK Day stuff, which is really good. I highly recommend punching this in. This actually had that diamond contract in the locker code, a diamond consumable, which can actually also give you a diamond contract. And then you could also, you know, get a bunch of tokens and stuff out of this as well. Um, now with this again, like I'm going to tell you guys right now, locker codes are something you never want to miss out on. It literally takes like two seconds to punch in and it is for free stuff. So there's a link to a, a website in every single one of my videos. It's not like a sponsor thing. It's legitimately a good website that shows you every active locker code that you guys definitely need to make sure you guys are using and punching in every locker code. Like don't miss out on any of them. It is really important that you guys do that. Now, another thing that I want you guys to make sure you're not missing out on is these challenges right here. A lot of people overlook how good these really could be. So skills challenges, I mean, again, you guys can see that you get a free reward pack. All you have to do is get 25 points with any player. Make sure you guys are doing these challenges. I mean, they take literally no time. You don't have to play the full game and you get the free pack. So... I mean, make sure you guys are doing those. And then final thing, and this thing I really want to talk about is the pickup challenges. This is something that I highly recommend doing. I actually haven't been doing them, uh, which is on me. I mean, I know I'm giving you guys a tip and then I'm like, oh, I'm not doing them, but I actually am going to start doing these because these standard heat check packs are going to be pretty good, again, for getting heat check players. So if you guys are pulling these random heat check players out of different things, it could actually make you some good amounts of MT. Like the players I just have chilling in my collection, going back to what I was talking about before, I can actually probably sell these back and actually make a decent amount or a decent amount on just selling these back. I mean, some of them, you know, are going to be pretty cheap. Some of them might actually hold a little bit of value. It's all random. Of course, I'm probably going to have the cheaper ones. I mean, that basically sums up my luck here. Uh, but a guy like Cat, I mean, same thing. <laughs> I love it. I love how, like, you know, there's some of them that go for, like, 6K, and all the ones I have go for, like, literally nothing. But the whole point is those free challenges are definitely worth doing because, again, you never know what you could land out of these free challenges. So make sure you guys do that. I mean, you could literally end up pulling a guy like Steph. Maybe you pull a guy like Giannis. Maybe you pull a guy like KD. It's definitely worth taking the time and doing that challenge every single day to make sure that you guys are getting, you know, the most out of the MT you guys can in this season. So if I'm going to be honest, you know, and talk about game modes here, about the best game modes that could make you the most MT this season, clutch time is really good. And I know a lot of people are saying like, oh, it's sweaty. And honestly, I'm not going to lie to you guys. There's still a lot of bugs. You guys can see my record on the screen here. Actually, six of these losses have come from games where I've won. Actually, no, I lied. Five. Five games have come from me winning or five losses have come from me winning the game, somebody quitting and me getting a loss for it. But like, I'm telling you guys right now, clutch time, if you can win, you're going to be able to make a lot of MT by just going through this mode. I mean, the wheel spins got upgraded a little bit. I mean, to where you get, you know, 400 MT, I feel like a lot. So if you're getting 400 MT per game on top of the MT you get in game, I mean, you're actually going to be making like probably six, 700 MT per game, which actually does add up in time. So, I mean, as always, I do recommend, you know, again, going back to that diamond contract thing where if you guys, you know, do run lineups like this, where you uh, actually, you know, are running good cards, but they all have diamond contracts on them. It'll actually help you save, you know, contracts in the long run. So you can run a budget. Well, well I, I don't know. I consider this a budget team at this point, but anyway, you can run a team like this and it actually, you know, will help save some NT and you will actually be making a lot. Uh, Triple the online is a really good one as well. I feel like people kind of underrate this mode a little bit because, you know, I know the rewards aren't great, but you still get good enough stuff to where I feel like you are making consistent MT and consistent tokens. If you are able to get that signature pack too, you do have a chance at pulling Kobe or Magic. So, you know, I know it's very unlikely, but the MT you actually get in this mode is pretty good. Draft mode. I mean, I haven't really touched draft mode. I, I'll be honest with you in a very long time. Uh, I think it's actually been like two months since I've even played a single draft game. It still does give you good rewards if you do win all 10 games and everything like that. But the only reason why I don't do it is because that actual, like, you know, pack or the actual player you get at the end really hasn't been anything that great. So guys like Tony Parker, Andre Drummond, George Gerving, like really haven't any, been anything to grind for. Uh, limited is really good too. Uh, I always do like giving this tip for you guys. Limited every weekend normally has additional prize packs and like uh, diamond contracts, diamond shoes, um, Normally you have like uh, Hall of Fame badges and stuff like that as well in here. So make sure you guys are taking advantage of that as well. And then the final game mode, I mean, Unlimited, you all know how I feel about Unlimited. I mean, you can make some good MT out of it, but 
it's not really worth the headache pickup challenges and stuff as i talked about make sure you guys do those domination i don't really play triple that offline i mean if you are caught up with it it is definitely a good mode to grind because again you're gonna get good amounts of mt as you're going through the games you have the mt in the vault and that standard heat check pack which is good diamond contracts diamond shoes new year's resolution deluxe pack um you know the mystic deluxe pack like there actually is good packs in here that i feel like you can grind for so you guys let me know though how you guys feel if you guys have any other empty methods be sure to comment them down below if you guys did enjoy this video do me a favor and kill that like button if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button and yeah peace